and I'm an actor, a writer and a theatre maker and throughout the next couple of episodes I will attempt to guide you through the performing of a monologue. So today's episode is merely going to serve as an introduction and an overview. Tomorrow we will be looking at text work. Uh, this is my favourite part of the creative process as an actor, text analysis. It's still so deeply private, um, and this is before the director and the other actors step into the space with you. Um, and if you do a thorough enough job in your initial text analysis, you have a solid foundation that you can keep returning to during the rehearsal process. Um, and that just makes you feel so much safer and more secure. So on day three, we'll be looking at the emotional landscape of the character. Uh, this is simple stuff like um, identifying the major driving force or motives of the character and also how you can relate to it. If not, how can we do research? What can we use as aids to get us closer to the internal world of the character? On day four, we'll be looking at physicality. This is the body, the voice, as well as gestural language. <clears throat> this is the container for the character's soul. And how can we use our bodies to express the eternal, internal and eternal drives of the character? And then on day five, we'll be honing in on the actual material, the monologue itself, um, and look closely at how we can excavate meaning by simple tools, using simple tools like um, uh, emphasis and stresses and rhythm and beats. Uh, these, uh, this is also a really juicy part of, um, of the process for me. It's, it's like you're playing detective. Uh, and then on day six, we'll be putting it all together. Uh, this will be a little bit of a documentation of my rehearsal process. And then on the last day, I will be showcasing you my monologue, eek. So just as a disclaimer, you will have your own process. Um, this is sort of an example of a process, but my process is ever changing, ever developing. So it might work for you, it might not. Um, the trick is to borrow and steal from different people and see what works for you. Really personalize your own process. But first things first, let me introduce my monologue to you. So I decided to do Amadeus by Peter Schaffer. Now, as you can see, it's a bit worn out because it's one of my favorite plays. Um, you'll have to excuse me. I sometimes forget where to look at the camera. I am considerably older than you are. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so, Amadeus is a play about the more or less feud between the composer Salieri and the composer Mozart, who I'm sure you've heard of. If not, please Google. Um, <laughs> But uh, the character of Salieri, which is what uh, I'm going to, who I'm going to portray, it's the first monologue that starts the play off. And when we meet him the first time in the play, he's a 70 year old man. So this is a bit of an unconventional choice uh, and it might fail completely. Uh, so you'll walk this journey with me and find out if it's a complete disaster. <laughs> but uh, I'd like you to explore, be brave, uh, beyond the scope of naturalism and realism. This is something a little bit more stylistic, a little bit more meta, a little bit more self-aware. And in order to play a 70-year-old character, we're going to have to employ um, 
broader techniques physically, vocally, than, than usual. Um, and Salieri is such a juicy and such a fun character and is traditionally played by a younger actor. Why? Because the older Salieri is the framing device, the narrator of the play, and he then steps out of his aged body and becomes the younger Salieri for, I would say, the majority of the play, but then dips back into the old age and so on and so on. So, like I said, it might work, it might not, but I think it's going to be a lot of fun to try and uh, to try and get this a hang of the hang of this. Um, but yes, more on the play and Peter Schaffer tomorrow, and then we take it from there. Thank you.